I mean, I'm... I kind of knew I was going to be reaching... Uh, I'd, I'd be kind of hitting my limit here. Just because this run is not going the greatest, but that's unsurprising. It's actually gone quite well. Almost as good as my last run, despite the, uh, the limitations. Okay, losing my sensors like that is bad. For a random bonk, too. I think that's the worst part. See if I get really lucky. Sensor drone and a device charger. Uh, I'm just gonna salvage it. That's it, and I don't see anything else interesting here. Not that I can see much of anything, but still. So let's see if we've got something that we can die on. Uh, let's see. I might want to upgrade my sector map abilities. Okay, that is a heck of a lot of plasma. I guess let's upgrade this sucker. Not that I'm really using it. Uh, let's see, anything else that I can upgrade? No. Can I build new? Heavy missile, corrosion missile, light missiles. You make a lot of missiles. I should probably start using them more. Well, do or die, yeah? You've been detected. One nanobots! Oh, that's the... That is... Top tier shit. And yeah, we've got a scatter gun there. Supposedly, there's something nearby. I guess we got crystals right here. We've also got that. It's me some scrap. Okay, scatter gun. I don't like this scatter gun. Scatter gun. It's nice, I'm just not going to be using them. Not that this run's going to go very far at this point. This this run is pretty much solidly bone zoned. It's also not very fun, because now I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I'm really hoping one of these containers has some nanites in them, but... Okay. So that heals me, but that doesn't fix my problem. Well. When in doubt...
Just go bananas on something. Not sure how much longer I could have endured that. Eat nothing. Okay, I can now repair my sensors and my ship. Okay, collected some Viridian energy. Uh, special resource, only resource that carries over from run to run. You might not need it in the moment, but it will come in handy for trading and crafting special blueprints at a later stage. That's kind of good, but I'm going to salvage it. Beam laser, M3. Higher energy consumption, lower range. Uh, uh hmm. That's a toughie. Yeah, a lot more damage, though. It's worth it. Okay. Got some fuel for me. And there's a scatter gun over here. See, I can upgrade the new one, too. It's true. Mostly with that, but that's fine. Build new. Heavy missiles. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Build new. We also have corrosion missiles. That might be kind of fun. Okay. Uh, whoops. I was going to do that. Now, can I build some more combat drones? Looks like I can. I'm just going to squander some of my resources here. Let's see. Salvage the scatter gun. I got to I got to start doing that a little bit more often. Uh very specifically just uh using my consumables. Historically I don't in these games. Oh. Probably worth it. I don't see anything else here. Sensors probably would have at least remembered them, despite my my issues. Anyway, lucky on the Corvette, but I was also just kind of wrecking it. Uh, let's see, wreck, uh, regretting my decision, Ted? Nah, I regret nothing. I mean, the thing is, this is one of those meta progression roguelikes that, like, there is next to no penalty for this, apart from just. Having to redo something? What the hell is that? I don't know. One way or another. Well, that's pretty much worth it. Oh, these are my drones that are with me. Plasma Torpedo. Does a lot of damage. Uh, honestly, I'm just going to salvage them. Okay, so we get more credits. And we have some amount of scrap just floating around here. We do also have the uh, the drone carrier. Very obviously, I would like to go after. Because I'm in a nice position to probably fight it. Ore is fully mined. Mineable ore, mineable ore. We got laser turret. Okay, where the hell is this sucker? That's cheating. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. And we get... I think that's a better time extender? That's a better time extender than I have. Okay, so time extender mark two. Shorter cooldown, longer effect. Yeah, that's fine. These are good. There's also the damage converter, but I'm gonna... Oops. I don't know if bonking off of these things hurts me at all. Okay, what else we got around here? A couple of mineable asteroids out this direction, and I guess we're good to go. This might actually be my best run yet, but I guess part of it is I'm not getting into dogfights. I'm just killing them at distance. Which I will give credit for. That's pretty good. Damn it. Stupid side quest creature. I hurt myself just trying to get that one. Oh. Die, weird creature. Oh no, it got in. I was like, did I murder it? Answer is no, I did not. Okay, well I don't see anything else interesting around here, so I guess we're just gonna keep progressing. Never mind, we've made a friend. Nanner injector blueprint. Worth it, probably. There we go. Adaptive Armor Blueprint. Okay, so these are worth it. And a Front Shield Generator, which is... I'd like the blueprint more than the actual thing. Because, yeah, it's just not nearly as good. As my T3. Okay, well... Arguably worth it. Uh, let's see, I didn't actually get any nanites from that. But I got some fuel... I got some blueprints, which is the important part. And apparently adaptive armor is important. Uh, let's see. Wonder what's your favorite animal? Ooh. Ooh, that's a toughie. I don't really know. Otters are rad as hell. Yeah, not my neighbor's dog. Funny about that, it's actually totally shut up at this point. Like, we hear it every once in a while, but it went from being, like, this hell monster that we had to listen to day in, day out, forever, to kind of nothing. You know what this game reminds me of? It's like Starlink Battle for Atlas, but with less Ubisoft and more roguelike charm. There we go. Took some damage there. But as far as ambushes go, I got out of that one all right. It's going for me now. Okay. They were. Let's see, so the shield booster is pretty functionally useless to me, I think, at this point. Yeah. 
Meaningless consumable item. Okay, so we got in through there. This looks interesting. I'm gonna head this way. Unfortunately, we took a whole bunch of damage. Uh, you know what, actually? Let's go talk to this NPC. It looks like he's a traitor, too. What's going on here? Vermin! Drag shut! Bottom feeders! Plague rats! Should we help this individual? It is a colonial ship, but it doesn't sound like a human pilot. The ship is unregistered. Choose carefully whether to assist. Important. Okay, we got him. Your assistance is acknowledged. Certain outlaws will not play by the unwritten rules of this sector. Well, we've taken care of the problem. For now. We've not yet been introduced. I am Tareen, merchant of many diverse wares. An Okar trader? Here in the demilitarized zone? Now that's a first. I admit it's unusual, but I am no mere trader. Rather a purveyor of special acquisition. People want specific objects, I provide them what they want. That sounds fairly straightforward. It's a give and take galaxy. Perhaps you seek a partnership in some ventures. You place your trust in me very quickly. Not for everyone, but I can see you are someone who would recognize a profitable opportunity. I will start you small. If you can obtain some scrap for me, we can talk more serious business. I'm sure I can manage that. You can deliver the goods in installments if this is more suitable to you. My signature setting will show you my current location. Okay. Sounds doable. Some scrap. That should be easy enough. I noticed you did not ask about payment. I'm trusting he knows how to do business. It's a small task. Nothing much to lose. Right. Now the topic of Starlink. Never actually got a. Ooh, that's some. That's some money. So we already have a beam laser Mark III, so I don't need that so much. Okay, and this is pretty much the same. So let's just salvage the M3. Grab that sweet compound. Convert the damage converter. I never got around to the Starlink Battle for Atlas DLC. Wonder if it's any good. I should go back to it. Uh, me too. Cause like, ooh, hi. Uh, my ship, Tareen ship. So he needs a lot. Well, considering I'm near death, we'll just Keep go with that coming. for now. We're gonna need more than that though. Well, let's see, but yeah, was the DLC any good? This is the game who made the Galaxy on Fire mobile games, huh? Neat. Anyway, uh, let's see what what console did I get Starlink for? I got it for the uh, the Switch. I wanted the extra Star Fox mission packs, and also I like games on the Switch a lot. Uh, it's probably my second favorite platform. Ah! It exploded on me. When does that happen? Uh, let's see. Yeah, don't fly through the murder beam, probably. So it looks like this is all just ore. Yeah, we could do a big piracy, but I don't really see the point of it. What I'd like to find is a traitor that is not Tareem. One of the service stations would be very nice. I haven't found one yet. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so I got I got Starlink for the Switch, played the base game, and then it came came out with some kind of like uh Space Pirate DLC that I never got around to. But a very similar game feel. I'd say Starlink had slightly better music sometimes. This is pretty good music though. Oh good.
is that? Outlaw drone carrier. We're going to leave that for a second. There's a service station right here. Please, for the love of God, be repairs, not fuel. Because I would not mind dumping a bunch of money on repairs for a bit. You see Jedi Outcast and Jedi Academy are coming to Switch, though. I didn't. That's cool. I would love to play the Outcast series at some point. My problem is any Star Wars game I play just gets son of a butt. Why do you not repair? Well, we'll grab the, uh... This crap. Starlink had a, obvious, uh, obviously a different gameplay loop. But it had a very, like, the dog fighting felt very similar. What bad boys did we piss off here? Oh. Cross another one off. we have here. Yeah, because there's the outlaw drone carrier. There's that colonial turret. I guess I didn't need the time extender nearly as much as I thought I did. I've got one of these at the very least. What? Must I reset to nursery level astrophysics? If you hit a large solid object, it will cause damage to the craft. Come on! container just shotgunned into my face! I... that was... Uh, I'm so... I'm sorry. I shouldn't yell. I shouldn't be that loud. I'm just mad. Because that was bullshit. Okay. Do do max speed. Boost speed would be kind of nice. But honestly, increasing my base speed seems like a good idea. Let's see, I wonder how many ships this thing can... Uh... Hmm. Shows traders on the map. Yeah, let's go for that. Showing service stations would be nice, but we should probably get some other stuff. Hull might not be a bad idea. Critical hit chance. That is not much. Is there a perk for a better repair? There is. It's nanobot efficiency. I'm gonna get device slots though, because devices are awesome. Okay, and I've only got a smidge of money, so I'm gonna just bump it into that, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go fast. This will be my last run, and it's gonna be a very fast run. Well, the scanning range is nice. So how do you like this ship? It's really cool, isn't it? It's a matter of taste. You don't appreciate the finer things. Or is it jealousy? If you must know, it is because my small talk routine is in cooldown mode. Whatever. I like it.
Okay, so I ran out of resources pretty dang fat, or resources, energy pretty dang fast there. So I might want to expand that a little. I do appreciate the maneuverability on this. Holy shit is zippy. Okay, so what other things do we have? And eh, not too much. Energy in injector is kind of fun. Okay, so anything else worth anything out here? Because we've got the GMB fighters. I probably shouldn't have started this run, so I might just try and dog dogfight with something that I shouldn't dogfight with. Because I did say, yeah, I shouldn't have done this run. I wonder if I can, like, bow out partway through. I just wanted to see how this ship handles. I guess we still have the Sentinel I haven't tried yet. But I, I like where this ship is going. It seems like it's got, uh, fun things. I could dink myself against objects until I die. I hate throwing a run, unless I absolutely need to. Uh, but I said I was gonna play Borderlands 3 tonight, and I would like to. Okay, so, upgrade. Nope, just shield damage mod. Shield damage mod. Hopefully we can get a hull damage mod at some point. Okay. I'm just gonna go full on dogfight with everybody I can. Plus side, it seems to be very friendly with nanobots this time around. Okay. On the plus side, I can snipe things out of existence. Want to find out what happens when you sit in a system for too long? I already figured that out. That That's just called death. Anything interesting in here? Yes. There you go. They're just giving me non-stop nanobots this time around. It's a little offensive. Because I desperately needed them earlier. Didn't give me a dang doodle. Now that we're here, they're giving me loads. I actually ducked. Drone override. Eh. nanobots are you gonna give me? I'm tapped out. Where were all these nanobots on the last run? I'm actually a bit upset about this. I'm very upset about this. Well, I'm really appreciating the, the speed. The extra sensor range is kind of nice as well. Uh, let's see, do you do that thing where you try and physically look around at things on the screen? Uh, it gets worse whenever I play a VR game. Oh. There we go. So anytime I play anything in VR, I'm just like, okay, look around, and then nothing. But I will duck if there's if there's something near the screen. Uh, like if I'm flying really close to this asteroid, like my instinct is to duck. Okay, do we have him nearby? No, we've got a trader, but I don't care about trades. It's not right now. Okay, we get some mineable fuel. 
Well, you know what? As much as I'd like to continue this run, and all these nanites are good. Question. Oh, I can save and quit. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I've, I've got to eat dinner, and then I've got to play Borderlands 3. Otherwise, it's going to get too late, and Shell does not like recording super late at night. At least, not games that she has to play and perform in. I don't mind when it's, like, co-commentary as much. Like, Fire Emblem was kind of okay, because who gave a shit? I mean, I'm sure some people did. But for me, it was kind of one of those where it's like, we're mostly just playing this game because if we didn't, we'd have endless people being like, why aren't you playing Fire Emblem? And it was a good game. I will admit, visually, this is my least favorite ship. I like the idea of it, and boy, it zips. It doesn't look cool. Okay, so we get a sensor relay, which is probably further sensor range. Let me double check. Ooh, I get four devices. Yeah, 40% increase. Nice. Or nanobots. Come on, game. It's absolutely screwing with me. Uh, let's see, where is this one? cost was a squeeze of the trigger. Our vessel cannot be detected as long as the cloak is operational. Just don't start firing. It will reveal our position. I can see some advantages to this. I mean, it reveals us for a bit. Maybe. Doesn't reveal me for long, though. Also, hello, service station. Do you have anything of any immediate value to me? Probably not. Oh, it's a refuel station. Sure. Okay, fuel's at max capacity. Life is good. We have money. Everything is good. I'm just gonna warp to the next system, and then I'm gonna save. Obstacle blocks the way. Bleh. But yeah, I'm having a good time with this game. I'll probably do another session uh, or two tomorrow. Uh, okay, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a good spot. Unless we immediately get attacked. We will not. We'll be close, but it'll be fine. Game was saved entering this location. Perfect.